Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today we've got a product from Ape Man. This is their M4S DLP Pocket Projector. You can check this out on Amazon at the time of this review for $199. I'll have that link in the description below so that you guys can check it out. I'll also have a link to Ape Man where you can check out all of the products that they have to offer. Now I've done some reviews on Ape Man's products in the past and they've always been pretty solid. We're gonna dig into the M4S right now and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's take a look at the M4S, and that is going to be the model number here is M4S. They have several different models, so keep that in mind. Uh, this is up to 1080p. It does use DLP. It uh, also has a built-in battery that is 4,600 milliamps and will allow you to charge other devices so you can use it as a power bank as well. Uh, it is rechargeable uh, via USB Type-C, which we'll get into in just a few moments. If you want to check out Ape Man, you can check them out at www.apemans.com. I'll have that link in the description below. Now, once you get everything out of the box here, the first thing you're going to see is a user manual for the M4S. It's in a a lot of different languages, so that'll help everyone out uh, if uh, English isn't your first language. And it's well uh, written has all the information that you need. Of course, you're gonna get the pocket projector itself, and then you're going to get an accessories box here that's going to have a bunch of different things in it. Uh, so we're gonna check that out right now. And inside this accessories box, you're going to get several things. You're going to get uh, a tripod, you're going to get a charge cable. You do get a charging brick right here as well, uh, so that you can either run the projector charging uh, or you can run it off the battery. Uh, you'll use this to plug it into the wall and charge it up. Uh, it does have that 4,600 milliamp battery and it's gonna get you about two hours of playback time on the battery. Uh, and it takes a few hours to recharge. Now I do give you a nice little tripod here. So that's kind of cool. Uh, it, you can set it up to any tripod you want, but they do give you one that's included. Standard HDMI cable. Now this is gonna be your main thing for hookups here. And then of course your a charge cable, which is a USB to USB type C, which will go with the power brick itself to recharge the unit. And of course you can use it while it's charging as well. So that is what you're going to get inside the accessories box. Now, taking a look at the main unit itself, it's super, super small, and I like that. I like the fact that it's compact on the bottom here. You're gonna have some feet, and you're gonna have that tripod hole in the middle. And you're even gonna have a little flip out here, so if you wanna set this on a surface but you need a little bit of angle, you've got that right there. Uh, super, super nice, uh, sleek look. You've got some venting in the front, and you of course have that lens that's gonna be super bright using DLP technology. You're gonna have some buttons on the side here for uh, adjusting your focus, and then you're gonna have a reset hole and your power button on the right-hand side. Now it does have a glossy black uh, top to it, uh, and there are some buttons that are gonna be touch sensitive that I'll go into in just a second as well. In the back, you do have your DC in, which is USB type C, your HDMI, and then of course your USB uh, five volt out for using this as a power bank and an audio out if you want to hook up external speakers. It does have its own speakers built in as well. So that is pretty much where we're at with the overall view of this particular projector. Another cool feature to this is this a touch enabled pad on the top that allows you to control with the top and bottom buttons a, a your keystone correction, which is up to 40 degrees. Uh, and so it's digital keystone correction. And on the right and left hand side, we have our volume up and volume down. Uh, and then in the middle, you have a mode button, which will cycle through an eco mode or a standard or a bright mode. Uh, and you can go through those, say you're on battery power and you want to do eco mode to get a little bit more battery, you can do that as well. So just an interesting thing there from uh, the design. Okay, so I've got my PS5 hooked up to this and you can see it's a super bright picture. You may notice some horizontal lines uh, in the picture and that is not the projector, that is my camera and the brightness and the hertz that this 
a particular projector runs on trying to capture that. So uh, keep that in mind. You're not going to see any of those lines. That's just me trying my best to, to eliminate that while recording. So as far as the PS5 goes, this is really nice. What I'm going to do is let you guys hear the speakers on this and then you guys can make your own decision on whether you want to hook up external speakers or whether you just want to go with the traditional speakers that are built in. If you're by yourself in a smaller room, the traditional speakers will be fine. If you are in a larger room or outside, you may want to hook up extra speakers. Now, what I really like about this projector, which DLP usually is, is it's super bright. Uh, makes it hard to record, uh, but really looks good in person. Uh, the colors pop on this. You have no problems in a lit room versus a dark room. I actually have a really bright monitor behind me. So this isn't even a totally dark room. And you can see that it just gets super, super bright almost so bright that it's uh, again hard to record this without getting some interference on the screen overall they did an excellent job on this and the speakers are strong enough especially for a small room okay so that's my review of the dlp pocket projector m4s from ape man now there's only one or two little things that i found th that i really would like to have personally these are kind of just nitpicks one is a remote control and the other one is the only input that you have is HDMI. Uh, so if you do want to hook your phone or tablet up to this, you're going to need a USB to HDMI cable or something like that, which is no problem. Again, these are kind of nitpicky little things. Uh, other than that, there really isn't too much that I can complain about as far as this projector goes. It's got a super bright picture, great colors. Uh, it's got a built-in battery. It's got USB output, uh, which could have been nice to have USB input as well. Uh, but again, that's just me nitpicking. Overall, Ape Man did an excellent job on this projector, and it's at a competitive price point. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. If you guys have any questions or comments about this projector, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Remember to like and if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do so, because that always helps me out. And I'll check you guys out on the next video.